Next match was Chelsea away. Stamford Bridge. That's what it used to be, didn't it? Probably still is. So our rivals from London. Lots of rivalry between these two clubs over the years. Ron Chopper Harris. So my brother used to get called when he played football. Or when he tried to play football. <laughs> Oh dear. Ron Chop Harris. There were a couple of Chelsea fans that we used to play football with, and that's what they used to call him because of his style. <laughs> yeah, funny. Anyway, game underway. And Chelsea take the lead through Tammy Abraham with a right foot volley. Very good strike there. Nice ball, you know, just to play him into space. Defenders can't get that, and Tammy Abraham latches onto it. And smashes it in with the right foot. So a goal down early doors against Chelsea, and Chelsea defended well. I felt that we started really brightly in this game as the Rico has a good good chance there. Controlled it really well, hit it, you know, really nicely. But Mendy's done well, got across there, got a firm hand to it and stopped that one. Did his job. Swing in the corner. Get it on the far side with Levera. Pavlidis is playing attacking midfield sort of support striker role for me today. Yuri Alberto is playing up top. Lukumi does his job. And Kekul is playing today. No sword. You've got to keep these players playing. In a rotation system. Which I'm trying to do. Because I feel I've got to have. You know 22 players really. And a couple of extra ones. Just in case. A good effort there. You get the shot away and Mendy makes another good save. Why with the ball forward? And it's Alberto. I think it's Alberto who gets the shot away, is it? David Tashley with the corner and the header goes wide. But up there above the Chelsea players, but unfortunately that's not inside the post, it's beyond it, so wide she goes more leads pressure yeah Chelsea were very good defensively very early on and, um, and obviously that led to their break and, and Sammy's goal there but I felt we started really brightly and I, I felt you know we were we were on it Tiepo catches the ball Tiepo's playing today no one's saying as Tiepo's got to get game time as well. Pavlidis plays the ball through for Yuri Alberto. He gets on it. Alberto. Oh, that's a good finish. Left foot across the keeper. Manages to get on that defender and him tussling for the ball. Who's going to get there first? Alberto did. Held off his man. And left foot drilled it across the keeper into the far post area of the goal. For 1-1. Very good ball from Pavlidis. Very good work from Alberto to make that his ball. And and the finish as well. Really good stuff from Yuri Alberto. I liked him a lot in PES 2020. He was um, a real bargain striker for the quality that he's got. So when I was looking for another striker here, he was... Um, you know, for the price and everything, he was top of the listings for what I wanted in the stat, stat search. He's a good player, Yuri Alberto. Recommended. We get the strike away from Levera and it gets blocked. You can see there, Chelsea man just got the block on it. And they were good defensively, Chelsea. Strong, 
strong in the tackles, um, pretty organised, made it very difficult for us to get clean strikes. And like I say, that their defensive qualities led to their break and led to their goal. So it was a tough ask, but I, like I say, I felt I felt we played, you know, brightly. I I felt we we were pretty good, and you see in a lot of Leeds pressure because that's what it was. But unfortunately, you can see there, just from that, you know, the drop of the shoulder from our striker, and they get the challenge in, and they they're organised, they're structured, they get you know blocks. Chelsea were good defensively. Chelsea were a good unit, and this was um, a tough game, uh, but an enjoyable one. I enjoyed. I remember. I enjoyed this game. They asked questions of me as a player, and. I did my best to answer them, you know. Chelsea forward, but we've got the man in space, and that's 2-1. So, 40 minutes nearly, 39, and Christian Pulisic had scored. Put through. My defender came forward a little bit. You'll see it there. He's come forward, he's left his man. And Pulisic has scored. I think that's Sugawara, isn't it, in the 13. I oh, know it's Wrench, the Wrench, the young kid. So Guara will be number two, that's right, that's how I number it. Wrench has just left his man a little bit there. Lavera on this near side, scampers forward, played into space, cuts the ball back, looking for Alberto. Too many touches here, David Tashfali, and you know. I'm just trying to find space because of the Chelsea defending. But the more touches you take, the less space you have. Um, all you can do is dock your cap to their defending, really. And just, you know, try and look at things. What can you do better as a player to, to try and, you know, get around that? Here we are with Guay, and Guay is brought down. And the goal scorer, Christian Pulisic, now gets a yellow card into the book he goes. He's got his name on the score sheet and his name in the referee's book. So I fancied my chances here, but I couldn't get it over the wall. So it's a waste of a free kick, and I'm bitterly disappointed with that one. That was a very good opportunity against the defence that was very difficult. And if I could have done better... If I could have, you know, not messed that up. But I messed it up. You know, it's plain and simple. It's on me. David Tashvili strokes the ball forward. And in the end, we gang up on the Chelsea man. Get the ball. Get it to Guay. Guay looks for a long-range effort because we're not getting anything by putting balls into that box. But it's wide. But we've got to try things. We've got to try long range efforts. We've been trying to get through centrally. We've been trying to get down the flanks. But this Chelsea defence is resilient. So had a pop from range. But wide she goes. And then change things around. Because you know. Obviously if it's not working. You need to swap it around. So if positive comes on for Yuri Alberto. And then. Directly after that, because there's a break in play, it allows me to make a couple more changes. So I do that. And hopefully, you know, we can try something a little bit different. Della Vega with a strike, but again blocked and through to Mendy. Another strike here, but Mendy's taking them all day long. That's not asking enough questions. It's not asking the right ones. Get a free kick, and as you can see... There's been no Chelsea shots. You know, it's been Leeds pressure trying to get this equaliser and Chelsea doing their defensive duties very, very well. Esposito. Back to Guay. Guay looking for options. David Tashvili offers himself. David Tashvili lays it to Wrench. Wrench gets the ball in. Chelsea defend it, and again we're forced into another long strike. And then 
ticks off on the clock referee looks at his watch calls time on that I did enjoy that game that was an enjoyable match and you know you tip your hat to Chelsea because they did their job they were organized and structured and you can see from the shot count we just simply could not break them down you know that that was the bits they defended very well and that was the base for their three points all the match day results there and you can see match day 30 so that means a look at the table so there we are so we go down into sixth place three points behind tottenham and manchester united go down to third as well there reading bottom of the pile bournemouth and burnley propping them up as a uh, better news and i'll see you for the next game take care